All right, here we go. So this is the um, mini lecture for modeling a three window analysis paragraph. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm going to m work my way through these basic steps. Um, uh, obviously we've just got about a 12 to 14 minute window. So I'm going to have to kind of rely on the fact that I've already just finished the rereading. So I'm not going to physically do the reading, but, um, then we'll jump into step two, which is to mentally organize, um, your ideas into the, the categories that we set up with our, our, um, uh, short story element lecture, uh, earlier this week. So, um, you're looking first at level one, then you move into level two. And I like to finish up with the major themes that jump out of the story. Now I know themes is listed as one of the, um, level one, uh, elements of short stories, but, um, just for the purpose of writing, I think it's a good idea to kind of pull themes out into its own category. And that makes up our three window analysis, right? Level one, level two, level three, those are, or kind of third window here. Um, and so you're going to reread the story, and as you do, you're going to highlight the literary elements that kind of st stood out for you. Then you need to take a moment to just kind of think through uh, the process. What are the points that you want to make um, in your paragraph? Um, then you, so you're going to start with the basic thing, things like the things like the characters, the setting, um, things like, you know, conflicts that exist within the story, um, those types of components. Now, let me be clear, when you're writing your own analysis, you don't have to include everything from my level one category, my level two category. Um, you want to focus on the things that seem like they're the most important in the story that you are analyzing. So you have to use your critical thinking ability here to kind of filter through to get the to get the juice, right? To get the best the best content. Um, um, then we move into step three, which is writing the first draft. Um, in particular, we're trying to use our triads of support. This is our new writing uh, tool. Our new writers. Uh, method where we uh, include uh, setting up, uh, providing citation support, and then analyzing the importance of that. So I will try to include a few triads in the paragraph that I'm about to demonstrate. And then always allow for soak time and editing before you have to submit um, the final uh, draft. Okay, so let's just jump right in there. Now notice that as I start my, so I'm going to move into the, the writing portion. Um, so mentally, I'll just do a quick organization here. So level one, uh, I'm going to be covering tubing on the Pumlidge River. So I've got my I've got my story opened up right here that I can jump over to and refer to. Um, so if we think about level one, um, we know the setting is the Comox Valley. We know in particular that it's dealing with um, rivers and tubing on rivers. Um, that's obviously the title of the story and it's the kind of the main content of the story. So those are going to be things that we're going to want to include um, on our level one window of analysis. Uh, additionally, it's a, it's a character driven story. We, we know that we're, we're following this uh, group of young friends, um, young lads. Uh, and so there will be some sort of discussion about the characters. Um, in terms of conflicts uh, that appear or foils that appear um, in the story, obviously, and, and if you think about like what, what is the most exciting moment of the story, so the, 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 the conflicts would be uh, things like humans versus nature. Uh, also, you could talk about, um, you know, coming of age story or, or developmental story uh, is another kind of classic thing that we could that we could uh, kind of tease out here. And those might fall under the category of the, the major theme component. Um, good. So we, could, we kind of start to see a framework appearing in our mind. Then we move to level, level two and level two is talking more about those advanced literary uh, tools, things like foreshadowing, similes, metaphor, personification. Um, the descriptive passages, obviously there's, there's a, a, a wide array of descriptive passages within the story. So you start to see that w even just by kind of doing a mental review of the story, we start to, we start to realize that our paragraph is going to take structure. Um, again, always with paragraph writing, our goal is somewhere between 250 and 400 words. Um, and that'll be the same for your paragraphing assignment, because obviously once I've demonstrated this, you're going to have to try to replicate it in your own um, 
in your own words, okay, or in your own efforts or your own sentences, however you want to state that. All right, so now that I've kind of done my mental organization, we can jump into the drafting process. So notice what I've done there. I always tab in. I don't want to start on the on the left margin. I always tab myself in. So good. So another thing to mention is that when you're doing this type of uh, literary um, paragraph, you want to just like with a summary. It's it's a little bit different than a summary because you're not just retelling the the events of, that you read in the story. You're you are to some degree. Um, highlighting some of the key events, but at the same time you need to um, think about them and analyze them, right? So, but but as with Sean's tips on summary writing in that first sentence, you do need to guide the reader both as to who this, this work comes from or what the name of the work is, but also kind of what your major goal is. You need to state that purpose in your topic sentence clearly. So, And remember, we are going to italicize the titles because that's what APA calls for. Also, uh, just another kind of uh, APA note. APA wants their uh, writing to be double spaced and that also makes it easier for me to read and mark. Um, so I just went here to the space line spacing, which is on my Google Docs, which I use as my window because it's nice and clear for producing the videos. Um, if you are on, if you are on a Word document, you can find the spacing right here in the middle. So again, you can change the spacing just like that. Okay, so it, it's easy to uh, do that. Okay, let's carry on here. Okay, so I've kind of, this is, this is the first sentence, um, and then I kind of go on to talk about, I kind of, I kind of hint uh, as to some of the things that I want to discuss. Now I'm going to move into that first window. So this is kind of my, this is kind of my intro section. Those first two paragraphs are kind of used to set up what I'm going to talk about. Um, and now I'm going to go straight into my level one um, my level one description or my level one story elements, okay?
so here um, we've kind of got we've kind of got the beginning of our first triad of support. Um, so you'll notice that you know I'm, I'm first I'm setting it up with that with that statement sentence that kind of clarifies what I'm going to talk about, um, and then I've moved into a paraphrase um, 